Yesterday, I made 1500 US dollars trading the Hedge Ninja on EURUSD. I uploaded this video where I talked about the trade and explained how I was thinking about it. Today, we're gonna see if there's some more opportunities or if we're gonna pass today. I'm gonna go through the Hedge Ninja. Do we have some trades or do we not have some trades? Do we have some news today? And yes, we have news. CHF, USD, CHF again, 10.30. That's in 35 minutes. And then GBP and USD. Looking at trading view. We can see here on CHF, Euro CHF, how it moved up and down. And this is the ADR high and this is ADR low. Average daily range, how much an instrument moves per day on average. And even though we had news today, it spiked up to ADR high and ADR low. So it respected the ADR high and low anyway. We have more news in 35 minutes on CHF, so we might just blast through it. But on average, this is how much it moves and it's the only indicator basically that I use. And if you have uh, no capital to trade with, you should definitely check out TraderFunder.com, which has a one-step challenge. So there is twice as many passing the one-step challenge compared to FTMO's two-step challenge. And there is no time limit. Yeah, it's, it's just fantastic to have this account under your belt if you don't have the money to trade your own account. Let's go through if we have some instrument. What I'm looking for for the hedge ninja, which wins in either direction where the price moves, is I want the price to have consult Consolidated, meaning moving sideways without any big moves. I want to have seen a big move before and then a couple of days with consolidation. Then it's higher probability that the price is going to move today away. So because the only danger with the hedge ninja and the only time the hedge ninja loses if is the price moves up and down in the same direction. If it moves up, it wins. If it moves down, it wins. So it's a fantastic way to trade. It's really stress-free in that in that sense. Bitcoin too high spread, ETH too high, high spread, Euro JPY. Well, we saw a push yesterday, so we can probably have a couple of days of consolidation. EURUSD, GBP, JPY. Yeah, well, this looks quite interesting. We have had a big push here for a couple of days before and then one, two, three days of consolidation uh, up until today and now we are consolidating as well. We have GBP news at one o'clock today so it's a little bit dangerous. So if I'm being totally honest this is not a day that I actually want to trade. But as I am doing a challenge now, I can take a little bit more risk because I don't want to spend 30 days passing my challenge or failing after 25 days. So i rather fail quick or pass quick. Let's see here. It's actually looking decent except for the news. So we're going to open up that one here. Here we have the ADR high and ADR low. So I'm going to expand this like this. I want to use the whole daily range to increase target size. So I have a high target target size compared to my hedge size. This means that I can move now. If I my profit target is 1% and my maximum allowed drawdown before the hedge ninja closes everything and take our loss is 1%. But I like to commit a little bit more. Let's say now with 1% target and 1% max drawdown, this I, uh, I need to, now it's moving up. So let's let's do this. I'm gonna open the trade because I want to be in the trade now. We're possibly having a little bit move here now. But now I can change, now open the trade. The target is 12.6 times bigger than the hedge size. The hedge size is what you see here. If the price moves down to this gray line, it will change to a sell. And if the price moves up then, it's gonna be a gray line up here changes to a buy and keeps doing this up and down until it moves in either direction and if i shake on the 50 minute time frame again we see that the target is up here and the target is down there so either way it makes money it will make one percent if it moves down there it will make one percent if it moves up there and we can change now 8.8 times using these settings but i like to risk a little bit more than i target because i have a really really high win rate doing this so if i go to three percent all of a sudden i can change position up and down 17.8 times roughly it tries its best to really calculate how many times it can change position including commissions etc etc so you don't have to think about that and also we have this setting exit break even from position plus this means that if it changes direction more and we are on current position three or above it will try to close as soon as it gets to break even. That means that total profit gets to zero, including the cost for commissions. So I don't want to do that, at least not on three, because I have 17.8 17, 17 times I can change direction. So I will do this like maybe 12. Yesterday I had to use 11 out of 17 positions, and I had exit that break even on 12 positions. And it was pretty close to coming down to that, but I ended up having a profit instead, so I'm happy for that. Yeah, this is the trade I'm gonna be in now today. And if we come to one o'clock, which is in three hours now, and we are close to this area 
I will probably close the trade because it's gonna jump up and down and the spread and the slippage is getting quite high during this news time so I do not want to be close having <laughs> maybe if we're up here I will leave the trade maybe put my stop loss to if I'm on position one me maybe move up my stop loss to break even then just see what happens and I might end up in a little loss if uh, it's huge slippage but I do not want to risk because it can easily get down to more drawdown than what's allowed in Hedge Ninja because Hedge Ninja will not be able to react as fast because the data coming to MetaTrader is a bit slow sometimes during news events it happens a lot in the background on their back end and then we see all of a sudden a big slippage and uh, boom we lose a lot of money so I do not want to risk that so, but now it looks like it's wanna, gonna move up and looking here again I talked about about this pattern yesterday played out perfectly on Euro USD where you have impulse correction impulse that's how the markets move a lot of the times so and it looks like it's gonna move like that now so hopefully it's gonna continue up continue up and then the news comes and boom it goes up and I end up in profit that's it for today if you want to get your hands on Hedge Ninja you can check out robertsfx.com and also if you need capital to trade with check out tradefunder.com you can also click on this one up here and uh, yeah just get started have a nice day peace